Thank you, Dr. Snyder. Dr. O'Donnell, Mrs. Bethel, Father Terence Henry, Dr. Peter Kraft, Reverend Fathers, distinguished faculty, parents, family, students, and friends of the class of 2014, and finally, my fellow graduates. It is my honor today to welcome you to the commencement exercises of Christendom College's class of 2014. I admit that at first, I found it slightly ironic and somewhat difficult to write a salutatory address on a day that contains so many goodbyes. But upon further reflection, I find that both welcoming and departing share a beautiful connection. The word welcome is simply an expression of joy, wishing well to those who have come. Etymologically, the word goodbye literally means God be with you, wishing blessings upon those left behind. Although salutations and farewells are considered opposites, they share a unique bond, joy. In both cases, we should express joy, for we are wishing goodness upon those who are entering our lives and also upon those who have left their mark with us. A farewell is a delicate thing. We must learn how to say goodbye well, how to express a joyful gratitude towards those professors and friends who have changed our lives forever. Simultaneously, we must joyfully welcome the new life that awaits us as one chapter of life closes and another begins. As C.S. Lewis writes in Surprised by Joy, quote, all joy reminds. It is never a possession. It is always a desire for something longer ago or further away or still about to be, end quote. As we are about to go our separate ways, I would like to open today's commencement exercises by sharing a brief reflection on joy which I hope will serve as a strong guide for my fellow graduates as we set forth on our individual paths. Although it is time to say goodbye to Christendom, we must rejoice in the education, formation, and experiences which we have received. Similarly, we must joyfully embrace the vocation which God places before us. As many of you know, some of our guests have chosen to include the virtue of joy in their speeches, Thus, I truly believe this is a theme that the Holy Spirit has inspired us to meditate upon today. As Christians, we are called to maintain joy during every stage of life. When life becomes difficult, what will your response be? If you respond with a smile, others will notice your happiness and ask, why are you smiling? If you respond to each person with love, others will notice your joy and ask, why are you loving? The answer is simply because the joyful soul keeps his eyes on eternity, unshaken by the difficulties of the world, embracing the reality that the human person was created for everlasting splendor and joy with his creator. Philosopher Joseph Pieper beautifully expresses how the joyful soul reacts to another person. He writes, quote, Love does not say how good that you are, so clever, so useful, so smart, or so skillful. Instead, love says, it is good that you are. How wonderful that you exist. Pieper's insightful remark is a beautiful example of the joy we are called to express towards every human person we encounter joy at the existence of God and his creation. It is my hope that when we leave campus today, we embrace a life of Christian joy, allowing the virtue to take root in our souls. If each of us learned to embrace joy as a beautiful fruit of the Holy Spirit and as a necessary virtue for Christian perfection, without being swayed by the anxiety, fear, and pressure which pervades the world, then we as the class of 2014 would be unstoppable in restoring all things in Christ. This is the challenge I present to you today. Never cease to express gratuitous joy towards those to whom we must bid farewell 
and towards all that God will offer you to embrace in the future. Let your joy be the virtue that sets you apart from the rest of the world and rejoice in God's plan for you. Thank you.